And now, tonight's presentation of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Tonight, the story of a man who tries to escape his past and is faced with no future. We call it Nobody Ever Quits. So now, starring Tom McKee, here is tonight's suspense play, Nobody Ever Quits. Come right up. Fill her up. Yes, sir. Well, you better check the oil and water, too. Hey, uh, you got any hot coffee inside? Yeah, hot and black. Oh, that's for me. Must be close to zero. <laughs> Not that bad. Down around 20. Drop tonight, though. Radio says we might get a blizzard. <laughs> and they call this sunny California. Well, we're more than 5,000 feet here. 6,500 at the top of the pass up the road a piece. Yeah, I know. I just came over it. Heading north? Yeah, Vegas. Uh, how far is it from here? Well, let's see. 260 from Victorville. Victorville's 32 from here. What's the matter? You lost? What makes you think so? Well, Cajon Pass is the direct route. Not many cars come over the mountains in the winter. <laughs> Say, uh, ain't I seen you someplace before? No, not unless you've been through here before. No, never. I mean back east someplace. Uh, you come from back east? Never been. Come from up north, Wairika. Yeah, that's funny. You take that mustache off and you'd be a ringer for a kid I once knew back in Jersey City. Joey Perino. <laughs> funny. Yeah. Lookalikes. You run into him sometime. Yeah. You sure you were never back east? Yeah, sure. That's funny. Without that mustache, I'd swear... <laughs> You'd be you... mistaken. Yeah, I guess so. Well, <laughs> where do I find the coffee? Right inside, sir. Sally will take care of you. Oh. oh, you better check the battery and the tires, too, huh? Sure thing. Oh, uh, I'll have a cup of black coffee, please. Yes, sir. storm is expected to bring at least six inches of snow down to about the 3,000 foot level. Now let's get back to the music. Here you are. Oh, thanks. <sighs> this coffee feels good. It sounds like you might be snowed in. Oh, won't be the first time. <laughs> that might be dangerous considering... Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not expecting until April. We never get any snow that late. Not even when the weather's unusual, like they say out here? <laughs> well, it's never that unusual. You better get Walt to put your chains on. Oh, I haven't got any. Well, then watch your step going down the hill. Particularly move show curve. It's bad in the snow like this. Oh, thanks. I'll remember that. <laughs> Is, uh, he your husband? Who? The fella gassing me up, this, uh, Walt. Yeah? You two all alone up here? Oh, there's my dad. He'd better get a move on or he won't get up that mountain tonight. Oh, where is he? Went down to Victorville this afternoon for supplies. Seems to me you're asking a lot of questions. Yeah, me. Well, maybe I am. I'm sorry. Just that traveling alone like I am, you get lonely. It's, uh, it's nice to talk to someone. Sure, I know it is. You, um, uh, you born around here? No, up north. Wairika? Yeah. How'd you guess? Well, your husband said that's where he comes from. He did? Yeah, doesn't he? He said he did, didn't he? Yeah. Say, um, you ever hear of a guy named Joey Perino? 
No. Why should I? Your, um, your husband looks like them. <laughs> what if he does? <laughs> Nothing. You ever been east? No, nope, never outside the state. You ask more questions than a cop. <laughs> Don't worry, I ain't no cop. <laughs> well, it's all set to roll. No, oh, I need any oil? No, nope, full up. How much do I owe you? Let's see, 12 gallons, that'll be 3.95. Was oh, that plus the coffee? Compliments to the management, the policy of the establishment. Free coffee during blizzards. All right, Sally? Y yeah, sure. Yeah, here you are. I'll get your change. Hey, don't bother. Three ninety-five for the gas and ten cents for the coffee. I got a policy, too. I don't take handouts. Oh, but what was only I kind... don't want to be owing anybody anything, sister. Particularly rats. Be seeing you, Joey. Joey? What do you mean, Walt, calling you Joey? <laughs> That's nuts. He asked an awful lot of questions. What kind of questions? About me, about you. He said you told him you came from Wairika. Why'd you tell him that? Look, honey, the guy's nuts. I, I never told him I came from Wairika. You never told me where you came from either, Walt. You just said you came from back east. Well, what difference does it make? <laughs> Didn't then when we first met. It doesn't now if you tell me it doesn't. All right. I tell you, it doesn't. Okay. Forgive me for being foolish. That man had me scared. The way he asked questions, the way he looked at you. He called you rat. He called you Joey. Oh, he's nuts, honey. Come on. You better get to bed. It's going to be a long, cold night. All right. You coming? Yeah, in a little while. Won't be much more business in this storm. You know something, Walt? You know what? I love you. I love you very much. Is that a fact? Las Vegas Inn, good evening. This is Victorville, California. I have a person-to-person -person call from Mr. Pirelli. Hold the line, please. I'll try to locate Mr. Pirelli. Yeah? I have a long-distance call for you from Victorville, California. Who's calling? Just a moment, please. Who's calling, Mr. Pirelli? Mr. Battaglia. Okay, operator, put him on. Go ahead, sir. Hello, Pete. Yeah, Bat, what are you doing in Victorville? You're supposed to be here by dinner time. Yeah, I know, but I, I sort of got lost in the mountains. Yeah, figures I know you get lost in Jersey City. Yeah, but wait till you hear what I found. A gold mine, I suppose. No. Joey Perino. You're kidding. Where? In the gas station back in the hills. You sure it's Joey? Well, sure I'm sure. He's got a mustache and he's got a wife and he calls himself Walt something or other, but it's Joey, all right. Did he recognize you? Well, sure he did, but he didn't let on. I thought I'd better tell you... Hey, wait a minute. If he recognized you, will take it on a lamb. <laughs> oh, not a chance, Pete. He's up there all alone with his wife. She's in a family way and it's blowing up a blizzard. He wouldn't risk getting her out in this kind of weather. Hey, where are you? In a joint called, uh, uh, White Spot. Uh, all right, now you sit tight. I'll be there in a couple hours. Well, how are you going to do that? I'm going to charter a plane. But, boss, I'll be glad to handle them for you. Hey, I'm sure you would, Bat, but this one I want to take care of myself, in my own way, if you get what I mean. I get what you mean. I'll wait for you here, huh? Uh, uh what's the name of this place where he's at? Uh, Walt Summit Service. Why? I thought I might give him a ring before I leave. I tip him off? No, I'm going to offer him another chance. Are you kidding? What do you think? Walt Summit Service, good evening. Hi, Joey. You must have the wrong number. This is Walt Summit Service. No, 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 Joey. I got the right number. This is Big Pete. Remember me? Bat just told me he was by your joint a little while ago. There's some mistake. I, I don't know what you're talking about. This is Walt Summit Service. Okay, okay, Joey. If you want it that way, it's Walt Summit Service and you're Walt. But back in Jersey City, you're still Joey Perino to all the boys. And Joey, the boys miss you. All of them. But me in particular. 
I miss you so much, Joey. I feel I just gotta talk to you. I'm sorry. You have the wrong number. Walt? Yeah, honey? Who was there? Hey, you're supposed to be asleep. I was just dozing off and the phone woke me up. Who was it, Walt? Somebody had a wrong number. Well, it took you long enough to tell him. Uh, guy was drunk or something. Oh? Look, you go back to sleep, honey. Aren't you coming? No, I, I don't feel very sleepy. I, I'll sit up a while and wait for your dad. Oh, I don't think he'll try to come up the mountain tonight in the storm and all. Uh, I'll sit up a while anyway. Keep the coffee hot in case he does. All right, honey. But don't make it too late. I get lonely in here without you. I know, darling. Look, you go to sleep now. You are listening to Nobody Ever Quits. Tonight's presentation in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Put spring cleaning on the list early this year. If you do, you're bound to put a crimp in those home fire statistics. Clean out all accumulated rubbish. When it's gone, it can't burn. Another thing, if you have frayed electrical wiring anywhere, have it replaced. Be fire-sighted about your home, and it'll always be there when you want it. Prevent home fires. It's cheaper and safer than putting them out. And now we bring back to our Hollywood soundstage Tom McKee, starring in tonight's production of Nobody Ever Quits, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. And small craft warnings are flying from Point Conception to Point Doom. The Weather Bureau predicts that close on the heels of the present storm is another, developing off the coast of Northern California. This is an undisguised blessing for the farmer in the San Joaquin County, the goers in Orange County. Walt Summit Service. Hi, Joey. Wrong number. You should know to hang up on me, Joey. Wrong number. You listen to me and you listen good. I want to talk to you and I'm going to... You got the wrong number. Okay. Listen, you know what joint Victorville called the white spot? Yeah, yeah, I know it. Good. I'm at the airport in Vegas. I'm taking off for here in five minutes. You take off in five minutes too, Joey. Look here. Don't hang up on me again, Joey. You listen to me. It'll take you about the same time to get down off the mountain as it'll take me to fly to Victorville. You meet me in the white spot. Now, that's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore. You'll take this one or I'll come up there and shove it down your throat. Listen. Highway patrol car just pulled up outside. <sighs> Get me off of them two bitter cops. I'm not trying to kid you, Pete. That's my boy, Joey. You finally acknowledge your old boss, huh? Now you ain't gonna squeal at him, aren't you? Because I enjoy. I'm not a squealer, Pete. Ain't you? No. How do I know? I'm telling you. So how come you took a powder on me two years ago? How come? How come you just blew? I just wanted out. Hey, Wall. You in there? Yeah, yeah. I'll be right there. Who are you talking to? State cops, I told you. Boy, Walked out on old Pete. I don't tell nothing to nobody. I just want to be left alone. I want it out, I got out. You ain't out, kid. Nobody ever quits. Look, leave me alone, will you, Pete? Sure, so I work for you, I draw for you. I don't know nothing, I ain't talking. Sure, you ain't. I gotta go now. Just let me alone, Pete. For the love of heaven, let me alone. Well, there's someone at the door. I know it, honey. Who are you talking to now? My wife, she's awake. Get rid of the cops, Joe, and you send your wife back to bed, and you'll meet me in two hours at the white spot in Victorville. You got it? <laughs> you better be there, Joey, or I'm coming up the hill for you. Oh, Miss Burton. Sorry I disturbed you, ma'am. Oh, that's all right, Sergeant Tooley. Walt well, was on the... Yes, yeah, Sergeant, some crackpot. <laughs> Second time he's called tonight. Got a wrong number, he can't get out of his drunken head. I just stopped by to see if you folks were all right. Oh, sure, sure. Snug as a bug in a rug. Have a cup of coffee? 
Well, yes, thanks, Miss Parsons. <laughs> I guess maybe I dropped for that, too. <laughs> I thought maybe you might have an ulterior motive. Uh, how's the weather outside? Taint fit night for man or motor car. The pass is closed, and we won't be able to get plows through from the other side until tomorrow forenoon. Well, that's what you can expect in February. Yeah. All those jokes about unusual weather. A fellow lives his life in California like you and me, and well, we know how she goes, they won't. <laughs> that's a fact. There you are, Sergeant. Sugar, cream, and hot, I hope. Oh, <laughs> wonderful, Mrs. Parson. <sighs> Just as advertised. Sally. Yes, darling? Uh, like the sergeant says, paint a fit night out for man or motor car. Yes? I, I thought maybe we might put him up for the night. Well, of course. Well, no, uh, no, I wouldn't want to inconvenience you. Oh, but it wouldn't not, be... Not at all, sergeant. No inconvenience at all. We sure like to have you stay. Well, that's right nice of you, believe me, but I've got to get down on the road. But it's after ten now. You're off duty. Yeah, and my relief comes from the other side of the mountain, and you ain't going to be able to get through, so I guess I'm still on duty. Well, what is there to do now? You never can tell in a storm like this. Orders are to patrol the highway. But the highway's likely to be closed. Right. So I'll patrol it until it is. Uh, thanks for the coffee, Miss Parsons. Sure you won't stay? Well, thanks, but I can't. Won't be any trouble, Sergeant. Thanks, anyway. Oh, oh say, um, that car out front. What car? Well, a couple hours ago when I was going up to pass. That pink and gray job you were gassing up. What about it? In any trouble? No. Huh. I just wondered. Hope he got done all right. Cars like that weren't designed for this kind of country. No, I, I guess they weren't. Nor its driver. Huh? A uh, screwball. Maybe a little loaded, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Well, good night, folks. And thanks again for the coffee. Yeah. You're welcome. Night, Sergeant. Well? Well? I'll get it. No, I'll get it. Walt Summit Service. You ain't left yet, Joey. Get gone. You got the wrong number. Again? Again. What is it, darling? A screwball. What's he want? Who knows? He's drunk. Come on, let's go to bed. I'm not very sleepy now. I know what. We'll sit up and wait for Dad. He won't make it now. He might. Let's go to bed, I said. Didn't you hear me? I... I heard you. All right, we'll go to bed. We'll go, then. I gotta lock up. All right, honey. Walt? What? What's the matter? Nothing, nothing's the matter. I gotta lock up, that's all. Go on, go to bed. Stop asking a lot of stupid questions. That'll be 20 cents for three minutes. How'd you guess it'd be me, Joey? Let's cut the kitten. I'm not kidding, Joey. I'm disappointed. I'm real disappointed. I fly all the way down here from Vegas just to talk to you what happens. You ain't got the courtesy to come down the hill to see your pal. How come you ain't here, Joey? I'm not coming, Pete. You're not? No. Well, then I guess I'll just have to come up there. Nobody's asking you. Now, uh, Joey, Joey, that's no way to talk. Lay off, will you, Pete? I ain't done nothing to you. You walked out on me, Joey. Nobody walks out on Big Pete. I'll see you in an hour. Oh, uh, and uh, Joey, don't try taking a powder. A fella at the bar just told me the pass is closed, and the only way out is down the hill, Joey. I know it, but it... Want to change your mind and come on down, Joey? Joe. Joey. Were you flashing, sir? Yeah, yeah, I was cut off, operator. Well, just a moment, and I'll try to connect you. I'm sorry, sir. There seems to be trouble on that line. Probably the storm. Um, uh, thanks. He ain't coming? Don't worry, it couldn't be better. The line just went out in the storm. And the pass is blocked. Oh, what a sweet setup. Yeah, ain't it? All right, come on, let's go. A pleasure. Say, 
that you, honey? Yeah. Come to bed. I, I can't sleep. Why not? I'm worried. About what? Where are you going? What are you putting on your coat for? I got to go down the hill. What's the matter, Walt? I'm worried about your dad, honey. I, I'm going to look for him. Now, you know he's probably staying down at the Rances. If you're worried, telephone No, him. no, I tried lines out. I got to go look for him. But, Walt, you can't leave me here alone. I got to, honey. I got to. But, Walt, I'm afraid. There's nothing to be scared of. You'll be safe here. Your gun. Why are you taking your gun? I feel better with a gun. Looking for Dad? Walt, you're keeping something from me. Who's been telephoning all night? Has it got something to do with that man who was here this evening? Tell me, Walt. You've got to tell me. There's nothing to tell. Now, look. Go back to sleep. No, I'm going with you. You can't go out in this storm. If you're going to look for Dad, I'm going with you. After all, he's my father. Get back in bed, honey. Please. If you promise you won't go out. I can't. I gotta go. I gotta go alone. Then it isn't, Dad. It's something else. Look, honey, don't... Hey, how come the place all lit up like a Christmas tree? Can't be that much business tonight. Oh, Dad, thank goodness you're here. This silly husband of mine was going out to look for you. He was afraid you'd skid it into the canyon or something. Oh, mountain man like me? Oh, fiddlesticks. Glad you dressed, though, Walt. I promised Sergeant Tui I'd send you down the road to give him a hand. Accident? Yep. Went through the guardrail on Mule's Shoe Curve. Dern fool was driving without chains. One of these uh, fancy new two-tone jobs. Dad, was it a, a pink and gray hardtop convertible? Well, too, he didn't specify, but he recognized the driver. Big shot gangster from back east, he said. Uh, <clears throat> didn't know the other fellow. Were, were they hurt? Hurt? Yeah. They're both as dead as last week's hamburgers. Oh, okay, I'll get going. Honey, will you put the gun back in the drawer? I'll be back in a little while. All right, honey. Dad. Well. See she gets to bed, will you? She sure. hasn't had much sleep tonight. Sure. Don't worry. I'll sleep now. Good. You know something? What? I love you. I love you very much. Suspense, in which Tom McKee starred in tonight's presentation of Nobody Ever Quits. Next week, the story of two young men and a frightening dare. We call it The Game. That's next week on Suspense. Suspense is produced and directed by Anthony Ellis. Script written by William N. Robeson. The music was composed by Lucian Morwick and conducted by Lud Gluskin. Featured in the cast were Peter Leeds, Joyce McCluskey, Jack Crucian, Larry Thor, Vic Rodman, Irene Barton, Jan Marlowe, and Bill Anders. This is the CBS Radio Network.